Hey guys, welcome back to the Ratchet Fridge. Steve here. I just got a special delivery in from Subaru today. It's gonna be a nice little surprise. I've been waiting for it. As you can see this huge box. Let's get to opening up and see what they sent me. Here we go. I purchased this uh, earlier in the week. It took about, I don't know, five, five days to get here. I think I ordered it Tuesday. It is now Saturday, so uh, it was actually the factory Subaru subwoofer option uh, that you can get from dealerships when you purchase the car or order it later on like I did. This is the subwoofer limiting wire harness. I guess some people had complained about harshness uh, or too much bass coming out of it. So Subaru has released something that limited the bass uh, to kind of control it a bit better. Uh, let's see what this looks like. Uh, here we go, just this little baby harness here. It's packaged like this. I think this was a uh, I don't know, somewhere like $10, not too much. Probably well worth add-on if you're gonna go this route. And this is the actual speaker itself. It's gonna sit in the driver's side of your trunk. Uh, it's made to fit for the BRZs, 2013 and up. Piece, you can see. One tab here holds on closer to the trunk side. This other tab hooks in closer to the uh, rear seat. You can see that the little amp is on top to control the base. This is where your speaker limiting wire goes to. Let's put it down here. I believe this is the wiring harness with what looks to be some instructions. So this is the wiring loom. It's gonna go through your car. And various, uh, looks like zip ties, a uh, little bit of a, I guess this is the quick connector, disconnector. Uh, I guess you would call them, I don't know, screws that go in, make taking the speaker in and out pretty easy. Like if you wanna go have a track day, or if you just wanna free up some room in your car, it's only these two little hand screws. But the PDF can be downloaded on Subaru, from Subaru's website uh, if you really need insulation. But from what I read, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, let's go see how, it, uh, how it's all gonna install. It should be fun. First, what we're gonna do is take the trim off the radio area in the front. Uh, so that we can run the wire from the back of the radio uh, around under the car and through the back. Uh, so what you're gonna wanna do first in this is take off uh, all this uh, passenger side trim followed by the trim around the radio. Uh, there's gonna be four Phillips screws behind here. You're gonna take the radio out and uh, hook up the harness from the subwoofer to the rear. So let's get started on that and see how it goes. Uh, some people said you can take it off by hand, so let's see if we can do that. And it's out. Then followed by this little piece, which, if I remember correctly, would just pop out like so, very gently. It's kind of fragile feeling. There we go. Out. As you can see, there are four bolts holding the radio in, two on each side. By the way, these bolts are all 10 millimeters. Probably should use a little bit longer of an extension than what I'm using, because the radio is getting slightly in the way with the size. Okay guys, so you're gonna take the end of the uh, subwoofer harness, the, the side that only has one connection, and then you're gonna run it through 
this little opening in the middle right here, go down, catch it with your other hand uh, right below the steering wheel. After you take off this bottom harness or this bottom plastic under the steering wheel, and you're gonna pull the harness through like so. And as you can see, it's coming out the other end. You don't have to remove uh, all the stuff around the speedometer. Uh, that's kind of excessive, even though that is in the Subaru instructions, but it's a little bit of a shortcut. Now that we got the harness pulled all the way through, you're gonna see this end. Uh, looks like a little Y, and then you'll see a grounding cable. Um, Subaru is nice enough to actually label where these harnesses go. If you can see connect to radio, and this one is labeled connect to harness. Uh, so makes it really easy to install. If you come back here to the radio, um, you'll see that there are these three main harnesses to the back. Uh, you're just gonna be pretty much subbing in for the top two, right here and here. Uh, really easy, so let's connect them. Or disconnect, rather. So, to make disconnecting easier, use one of these, uh, what's it called? Like trim popper clip tools. It makes removing like harness connections really easy. Also, don't forget to unplug your battery when you are doing this stuff or all hell could break loose. As for the grounding cable, the instructions say to unscrew this bolt on the side, the lower rear one on the passenger side of your radio. So take off the lower right screw uh, and it is very on there, very uh, tight. So be careful, make sure you get the right size uh, Phillips, or else you can end up stripping your screw. So we'll be applying the negative connector, screwing it back in by hand a little. Take it in there, and we're going to use what we took it off with since it was a better fit. Tighten, and you are all done with your radio connection. It's ready to go back and be popped back in. Hey guys, just here uh, taking out part of the back seat uh, so that I can run the wires through this plastic trim and into the trunk for the sub enclosure. Uh, right now there's a 10 millimeter bolt right in here that I just popped out which allows you to lift the seat up and uh, I guess it seemed like you had to shimmy it forward a little. There we go. You have to push down the back and lift up the front. So then that'll just go in the other passenger seat. As for this, you would remove this and a whole bunch of clips pop out. So you pull your wiring harness around uh, behind the trim here in the driver's side of the trunk and uh, it basically just installs with the screw and then one on the other side that just pops off like that. Also, uh, as you can see, I have like the, the little trunk liner thing. Uh, as you can see, I have the trunk liner from Subaru, um, which will not make your, which will not make these line up where it needs to, but it still supports it regardless, being as how the two buttons just press it in. So, essentially does the same thing. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. If you want to suggest ideas for future content, leave a comment below. To see more, you can follow us on Instagram and Snapchat.